Hey guys, it's been a while since I brought y'all into the DVR kitchen, but I have a new recipe that I really want y'all to see and to try. It's a classic grits recipe using our rice grits, and it is so good and so easy. I actually can't believe that I've never tried cooking our grits like this, but I'm just going to show you how to cook them like a traditional corn grit or polenta, and I think you're really going to love them. You'll only need a few ingredients to make this recipe, and the end product is amazing. So in this measuring cup, I have two cups of chicken broth and two cups of whole milk. I have one cup of our rice grits, butter, cheese. This is about a cup of grated cheese. You can use more or less depending on how much you like cheese. Um, we happen to like it a lot over here. And then we're going to use salt and some pepper. The first thing I'm going to do is bring the milk and chicken broth and salt to a bowl over medium high heat. I'm going to use one teaspoon of salt. If you like your food a little less salty, you might want to, you know, go a little less. Seasoning is always based on your preference. Boiling, I'm just going to whisk in my rice grits. Ideally, you would whisk and pour at the same time, but I only have one hand because I'm videoing with the other, so we're just going to whisk that in. Turn our heat to low and put on a lid. And we're going to stir it every three to four minutes. It's been three minutes, so now I'm going to remove the lid and whisk the grits. You just want to make sure they're not sticking to the bottom. Circulate the liquid. You're going to put the lid back on and cook it for another three minutes. We're going to do this until the grits have cooked 15 to 20 minutes. In my recipes, I always give you cooking times in a range because there are so many variables in the kitchen. Your stovetop probably cooks differently than mine. You definitely have a different pot. And so all of those variables affect how food will cook. The key here is to make sure that your grains are tender. If they're tender, then it's done. If they're not, you just need to cook it a little longer. These have been cooking for 15 minutes. So I've stirred three times. You can tell that it's much thicker. I tasted it and they need just a little while longer, so I think three more minutes will do it. The grits are cooked through, so now we're going to move them off heat and we're going to add in the butter. Stir that in. Once that melts, we're going to add in the cheese a little bit at a time. I'm adding the cheese just a little bit at a time because I don't want it to clump. Next, I'm going to add in some black pepper and stir that in. At this point, you want to taste it for sure and see if you like the way it's seasoned, if you think it needs more cheese or less cheese. Always taste your food and adjust. I like a garlic flavor in my grits, so I'm going to add a little garlic salt here. You could also do garlic powder depending on how salty the grits already are. Another thing to think about with grits is the consistency that you prefer. These grits are fairly thick, so if you like a looser consistency, all you have to do is add a little more liquid. I'm going to add in a little more milk because we like our grits to be a little looser. And I can just add that in. If you want to turn the heat back on, you can, but this will just easily incorporate into those grits. And that's it. These grits are super simple and versatile. You could change out the cheese. Instead of using cheddar, you could use Parmesan, and that would be delicious. We eat them at breakfast. I also serve them at supper. The other night, I made a Cajun pot roast with tomato gravy and served it all over these rice grits, and everyone loved it. So I hope you'll enjoy them. Tonight I'm going to be reheating these for supper and to do that I'm just going to add in liquid as I heat it up on the stove and bring it to the right consistency and it'll be good to go. So let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you have any ideas that we could try in our kitchen. Thanks. I feel like I should give a warning. These are highly addictive and you're not going to be able to just eat one spoonful or maybe even just one bowlful. So maybe take that into consideration when you cook them.